I have two important documents issued by the Vatican and released in English in the past day. One concerns the granting of a plenary indulgence for the current situation, and the other concerns the needs for going to confession in these grave times. Both are very short, and I present both to you here. It's kind of interesting timing-wise, since I usually post papal documents on Saturdays, and you'll still get the other papal encyclical shortly. Anyway, so please have a listen and share this widely with those who are concerned about getting to confession or concerned about ways that they can help spiritually in this present crisis. But just a brief note first, I had to avoid naming the crisis specifically when reading this, so I had to omit the name of the cause of the current situation. I'm sure you've you've heard that by now and you understand. So, now on to the documents. Decree of the Apostolic Penitentiary on the Granting of Special Indulgences to the Faithful in the Current Situation, dated the 20th of March, 2020. The gift of special indulgence is is granted to the faithful suffering from the cause of our woes, commonly known as, well, something I can't say right now, as well as to health workers, family members, and all those who any in any capacity, including through prayer, care for them. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. See Romans chapter 12, verse 12. The words written by St. Paul to the Church of Rome resonate throughout the entire history of the Church and guide the judgment of the faithful in the face of all suffering, sickness, and calamity. The present moment in which the whole of humanity, threatened by an invisible and insidious disease, which for some time now has become part of all of our lives, is marked day after day by anguished fears, new uncertainties, and above all, widespread physical and moral suffering. The Church, following the example of her Divine Master, has always had the care of the sick at heart. As St. John Paul II points out, the value of human suffering is twofold. It is supernatural because it is rooted in the divine mystery of the redemption of the world, and it is likewise deeply human because in it the person discovers himself, his own humanity, his own dignity, his own mission. See the Apostolic Letter, Salvifici Dolores, paragraph 31. Pope Francis, too, in these recent days has shown his paternal closeness and renewed his invitation to pray incessantly for those who are sick with the current situation, so that all those who suffer because of the problem, the thing causing our problems right now, precisely in the mystery of this suffering, may rediscover the same redemptive suffering of Christ. This apostolic penitentiary, ex auctoritate sumi pontificis, trusting in the word of Christ the Lord, and considering with a spirit of faith the situation currently underway, to be lived in a spirit of personal conversion, grants the gift of indulgences in accordance with the following disposition. The plenary indulgence is granted to the faithful suffering from the thing that I can't say on YouTube causing our situation, who are subject to quarantine by order of the health authority in hospitals or in their own homes. If, with a spirit detached from any sin, they unite spiritually through the media to the celebration of Holy Mass, the recitation of the Holy Rosary, to the pious practice of the way of the cross or other forms of devotion. And if at least they will recite the creed, the Lord's Prayer, and a pious invocation to the Blessed Virgin Mary, offering this trial in a spirit of faith in God and charity towards their brothers and sisters, with the will to fulfill the usual conditions, sacramental confession, Eucharistic communion, and prayer according to the Holy Father's intentions, as soon as possible healthcare workers, family members, and all those who, following the example of the Good Samaritan, exposing themselves to the risk of contagion, care for the sick of the thing that's causing our problems now, according to the words of the Divine Redeemer. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for his friends. See John chapter 15, verse 13. We'll obtain the same gift of the plenary indulgence under the same conditions. The Apostolic Penitentiary also willingly grants a plenary indulgence under the same conditions on the occasion of the current uh, worldwide problem, also to those faithful who offer a visit to the Blessed Sacrament, or Eucharistic Adoration, or reading the Holy Scripture for at least half an hour, or the recitation of the Holy Rosary, or the pious exercise of the Way of the Cross, or the recitation of the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, to implore the the Almighty God for the end of the thing causing our problem, relief for those who are afflicted, and eternal salvation for those whom the Lord has called to himself. 
the church prays for those who find themselves unable to receive the sacrament of the anointing of the sick and of the viaticum, entrusting each and every one to divine mercy by virtue of the communion of saints and granting the faithful a plenary indulgence on the point of death, provided that they are duly disposed and have recited a few prayers during their lifetime. In this case, the church makes up the three usual conditions required. For the attainment of this indulgence, the use of the crucifix or the cross is recommended. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and of the Church, health of the sick and help of Christians, our advocate, help suffering humanity, saving us from the evil of this problem and obtaining for us every good necess necessary for our salvation and sanctification. The present decree is valid notwithstanding any provision to the contrary. Given in Rome, from the seat of the Apostolic Penitentiary, the 19th of March, 2020, Mario Cardinal Piacenza, Major Penitentiary. Note from the Apostolic Penitentiary on the Sacrament of Reconciliation in the Current Situation, dated 20th of March, 2020. I am with you always. See Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. The gravity of the present circumstances calls for reflection on the urgency and centrality of the sacra Sacrament of Reconciliation, together with some necessary clarifications both for the lay faithful and for ministers called to celebrate the sacrament. Even in the time of the current crisis, the Sacrament of Reconciliation is administered in accordance with universal canon law and with the provisions of the Ordo, Ordo Penitentia. Individual confession is the ordinary way of celebrating the sacrament, while collective absolution, without prior individual confession, cannot be imparted except where there is an imminent danger of death, since there is not enough time to hear the confessions of individual penitents, or a grave necessity, the consideration of which is the responsibility of the diocesan bishop, taking into account the criteria agreed upon with the other members of the Episcopal Conference, and without prejudice to the necessity for valid absolution of votum sacramenti on the part of the individual penitent, that is to say, the purpose of confessing serious sins in due time, which at the time could not be confessed. The Apostolic Penitentiary believes that, especially in the places most affected by the current situation, and until the phenomenon recedes, the cases of serious need mentioned in the in canon law above mentioned will occur. Any further specification is delegated by law to diocesan bishops, always taking into account the supreme good of the salvation of souls. Should there arise a sudden need to impart sacramental absolution to several faithful together, the priest is obliged to warn the diocesan bishop as far as possible, or, if he cannot, to inform him as soon as possible. In the present emergency, it is therefore up to the diocesan bishop to indicate to priests and penitents the prudent attentions to be adopted in the individual celebration of sacramental re reconciliation, such as the celebration in a ventilated space outside the confessional the adoption of suitable distance, the use of protective masks, without prejudice to absolute attention to the safeguarding of the sacramental seal and the necessary discretion. Furthermore, it is always up to the diocesan bishop to determine, in the territory of his own ecclesiastical circumscription, and with regard to the level of the it situation, the cases of grave necessity, in which it is lawful to impart collective absolution, for example, at the entrance to hospital wards where the infected faithful in danger of death or hospitalized, using as far as possible and with the appropriate precautions the means of amplifying the voice so that absolution may be heard. Considerations should be given to the need and advisability of setting up, where necessary, in agreement with the health authorities, groups of extraordinary hospital chaplains, also on a voluntary basis, and in compliance with the norms of protection from the situation, to guarantee the necessary spiritual assistance to the sick and dying. Where the individual faithful and themselves in the painful impossibility of receiving sacramental absolution, it should be remembered that with perfect contrition, coming from the love of God, beloved above all things, expressed by a sincere request for forgiveness, that which the penitent is at present able to express, and accompanied by a votum confessionis, that is, by the firm resolution to have recourse, as soon as possible, to sacramental confession, obtains forgiveness of sins, even mortal ones. Never before has the Church experienced thus the power of the communion of saints, raising to her crucified and risen Lord her vows and prayers, especially the sacrifice of Holy Mass, celebrated daily, even without the presence of the people, by priests. 
Like a good mother, the church implores the Lord that humanity may be freed from such a scourge, invoking the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy and Health of the Sick, and of her spouse, St. Joseph, under whose patronage the church has always walked the world. May Mary, Most Holy, and St. Joseph obtain for us abundant graces of reconciliation and salvation, an attentive listening to the word of the Lord, which he repeats to humanity today. Be still and know that I am God. See Psalm chapter 46, verse 10. I am with you always. See Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Given in Rome, from the seat of the Apostolic Penitentiary, on March 19, 2020. Solemnity of St. Joseph, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Patron of the Universal Church. Signed, Mario Cardinal Piacenza, Major Penitentiary.